Hello and welcome to Goma at Home. Today uh, we're cooking something, uh, something that looks like complicated, but it's not really complicated. We're cooking paella today. Paella with some sausage, seafoods like uh, shrimps and uh, squid. It looks complicated when you look at it, but the thing is you have to get organized now when cooking it. And then step by step, you just dump everything inside a paella. So first we'll begin with our saffron. Saffron is a, a very expensive uh, spice. Uh, what we'll do is put it here in a small bowl and then again at in hot water. There you go. Then just leave it there until uh, lumabas yung color niya and then wow, you can smell the scent of saffron. Sarap talaga. Look at that. Then we'll prepare our uh, onions. Two onions. The key here is to get organized. Tapos later when you cook it, sunod sunod na yan. Cut it, and then take out the skin. So once you have it, just cut it here. Take out the root, there you go. So we'll put this in a bowl. Hmm. After this, we'll do our uh, garlic. Okay, when doing paella, it's okay to put in a lot of uh, spices, no? All of these spices will be absorbed by the, by the rice. There are, the, there are different kinds of uh, rice that you can use. This uh, bomba, bomba is one of the most, uh, more, one of the more uh, famous uh, rice for paella. There's also Valenciana na, na rice. And you can buy them at specialty stores. Uh, there are some uh, Spanish specialty stores where you can buy good sausage no? for, for uh, paella and uh, good uh, smoked uh, pork. We'll uh, mince our garlic. We have a smoked uh, pork, but this ready for uh, this ready for paella. We will slice it. No. Put it here in a bowl. Then we'll cut our sausage. Later on, the sausage na to. Laban niluto natin. Matatanggal na yung casing niya. So, sasabog na yung meat niya, which is good, no? Para that will give us uh, a lot of flavor sa paella natin. And did you know that there are three types of uh, paella? Actually, there, there are just so many uh, types of paellas, but the, the, the famous uh, paellas are paella valenciana, the seafood uh, valenciana, uh, and uh, of course, uh, mixed paella. But actually, paella is, depends on what you want to put. Ganun talagang paella, just uh, put in different uh, spices, different uh, seafoods, different meats. That's the way paella is. And then cook it slowly with, with a thin layer of rice. And then meron kang ano, uh, fish or chicken stock. You're good to go. Let's wash your hands. Okay. Next, we'll prepare our... Uh, <clears throat> our uh, onions. Okay. The sausage, onions, and uh, garlic. And this will add lots of beautiful color. Sa paella. Yeah. Oh, this is really good. This will really bring lots of uh, flavor. Yan. Lagi natin sa bowl. Whew, it looks so good. So all of this, you just set it up. And then next, our shrimps. Sa Bisaya, tawag ka ni Pansat, no? Tatangon na itong O. We'll take out the head and then put it here. On the pot, we'll make a stock out of this. So, take out the head and then peel off the shell. There you go. But you can leave the tail. No? Yan. Okay. Then, iwan nyo lang to. And then later on, we'll devein the, the, the shrimp. Take out the head and 
take the shell. We will use this for our stock. The stock of this, sigurado full of flavor to. Imagine the head of the shrimps, ang lalaki, oh. Tapos yung shell nito, ito talaga yung magdadala ng masarap na flavor sa, sa paella natin, no? Once matanggal natin yung shell, i-divide naman natin itong, ano, shrimp. Just cut it on top, just like that. Cut it on top. And then, may kita mo sa loob, andun yung vein niya. No? Let's take it out. But that's dirty. I don't like it there. Hanggang sa likod, meron, okay? Wash your hands all the time. We're done with the uh, uh, shedding of shrimps. Yung mga natanggal natin ng mga ulo dito, gagawin natin siyang stock. So, put water, and then let it boil. We will use this later sa stock natin, okay? Once we're done here, ito na lang, bell pepper. Take the seeds. And that's it. Okay. Well, we'll just cut this. Okay. Win one fourth. So it will come out in strips. So strips of uh, pepper tayo. Uh, in Bisaya, we call this atsal. Okay. So now, Isetup na natin yung mga ingredients natin. We have our saffron, our onion leeks, our onions and uh, garlic, our sausage and pancetta, and then we have our bell pepper and our uh, shrimps and squid. So, ayusin na nandiyan, dadali na sa paillera para magluto na tayo while our stock is boiling. Okay, ngayon na na-set up na natin yung uh, ingredients natin for paella. We're here sa paellera natin and uh, we'll uh, get ready to cook it. Okay, we'll uh, put in our olive oil. We'll uh, put in uh, lots of uh, olive oil. And then, lagyan natin itong mga sausage natin and the pancetta. Wow, there you go. Hanggang sa maluto siya dyan, hanggang lumabas yung oil niya, hanggang mag-render yung fat. And then, that's the only time na ilalagyan natin yung uh, ibang ingredients niya. So, while we're waiting for that, you notice hindi ako gumamit ng uh, fresh tomatoes, but instead, I'm using uh, canned tomatoes. No? Yeah, here we go. Pag natanggal na yung sausage yung sa casing niya, we'll uh, put in our next ingredient. No? Okay. So while we're doing that, kukunin ko yung pinapakulo natin na fish stock, na, ano, na shrimp stock. So, our shrimp stock, kumukulo na siya. We'll turn this off. Then we'll go back dun sa niluto natin. Wow! Take a look at this. Look at this! Beautiful! Hmm? we we'll put in our uh, onions and garlic. We'll put in the onion leeks. So, we'll put it in. Okay. So, once tender na yung, uh, once tender na yung onions natin, we'll put in a uh, the rest of the ingredients, but we'll put in the rice so that the rice can uh, toast for a while. And then, ilalagay natin yung seafoods natin. Okay. Our onions are tender already. Then we can put in our rice. I'm using bomba rice for our uh, paella. We're putting about a cup and a half no, for this one. Yeah. Not too much kasi uh, you don't want yung paella na masyadong maraming rice na, masyadong umangat yung rice dun sa, sa ingredients niya. Gusto mo very light lang yung rice dun sa paellera. Okay, so now, ito toast natin ng konti yung, uh, yung rice before we put in our stock. And then we'll put in the shrimps at saka yung, uh, yung uh, squid natin. Okay, so let it toast for a while. Okay, good. Now we'll put in our uh, 
tomato sauce. More tomato sauce. There you go. I mean, crushed tomatoes. No, that will act as our sauce. And then, pating stock natin. So let it simmer for a while. And I'll prepare my uh, pepper. We'll put in lots of uh, lots of uh, pepper. Oh, there you go. Beautiful, wonderful. As you can see, the the rice is already absorbing the the tomatoes. No, pati yung oil under na siya. So now it's time for us to put in our saffron. Oh, yung binabad natin saffron natin sa hot water. Wow. Yan talaga yung magbibigay ng distinct na flavor ng paella. Then after this, we'll put in our stock. Oh, yung ginawa natin na uh, yung ginawa natin na ano na shrimp stock. So we'll put it here. Mix it some more. And then, ilalagay natin yung squid natin. We'll put in about half a kilo of uh, the squid. Yeah. Put in lots of it. Let's put it in between. So while you're cooking it, while you're preparing it, you're partly decorating the paella. You know, the nice thing about paella, paella so, ang laki ng paellera mo. So, ang laki ng space mo for, for decorating the for decorating the whole uh, paella. Hmm? Pag naluto na to, ano na to? Uh, ganda ng color nito. The shrimps will turn orange pink. No? And mind you, because of all the ingredients na nandito, it will be full of flavors. Okay. And then lastly, our uh, bell pepper. Hmm? Point, hindi mo na pwedeng haluin yung paella, so you check mo lang kung tama na ba yung liquid ng paella. Huh? If you if you've been uh, cooking paella, malalaman mo kung ano na, kung uh, tama lang yung yung liquid niya. So what we'll do now, hinaan natin yung hinaan natin yung flame natin sa paella. Kasi, ayaw mo naman siyang sunugin. <coughs> we'll cover this with a uh, aluminum foil. Kasi malakas yung hangin. Para yung control natin yung fire sa ilalim. Now, marami sa, sa inyo siguro walang ano, walang paellera. So, ano yung alternative na pwede natin gamitin? Some people, they, they do it uh, on the cooktop. Iba naman, niluluto nila sa oven, no? Uh, it really doesn't matter, no? Pero, kaya lang, the, the Spanish way of uh, really cooking paella is using a paellera. That's why we're doing it that way. Oops, okay. Don't fly. Okay. So, this should cook in about mga 35, 45 minutes. We'll just wait until maluto siya. Babantay mo lang na hindi siya masunog. But a good paella, like what most... Uh, Spanish books will tell you, masarap yung merong konting tutong sa ilalim. That very light lang na tutong. Yun ang, yun ang gusto nila sa paella. Okay? There you go. It's boiling. And now we'll just wait. So while we're cooking it in between, basta na natin para makita natin kung kumusta yung kulo niya. The best. In it, what's out? Whoa. And then, Tikman na natin. So, we'll see kung uh, tama na ba yung saltiness. Wow, exacto. So, yan. We'll just uh, close it again. Then just until ma matuyo na yung sauce niya. It's finished. There you go. Now that it's boiling, this is the time I... Uh, I put my paprika, but I put a little paprika just to get that uh, uh, smoky flavor. And then just uh, 
sprinkle it on top. It's almost cooked, it's almost done. About 20 minutes, no? 20 minutes cooking time and the pile is done. Okay, let's uh, check our uh, paella, how it's doing. It's looking good. Right here. Mm. Wow. Mm. Give it a few minutes, no? It's a few minutes para lang mag-dry out lang siya and then we're done. Ganda. All right, this is good. Turn off our paella. Look at that. Yes. Exacto. Meron siyang, uh, meron siyang konting uh, tutong. Let's try this. It smells so good. Let's try the rice. Mm. Ang sarap ng ano, ang shrimp stock natin ang ginamit. Mm. Taste of saffron, the smokiness of the paprika, mm. the sweetness of the squid. So good. It's really good. I really hope you can try this. Thank you again for watching Goma at Home. If you have the time, try this in your own kitchen and then leave me a comment. Or, ang gawin natin, if meron kayong mga favorite recipes niyo, leave a comment sa YouTube channel na ako and then I'll try to do it for you, okay? So again, thank you for staying with me and I'll see you next time. Bye! Mm. Mm. <laughs> Hop, hop, hop.